Hey everybody, this is Farsight Community Call number eight. We're here with uh, our guests, uh, everybody that's here. Uh, we got Butterball and Nyx2, appreciate you guys. Uh, of course, Arkill and Scorn, our mods here. Um, appreciate you guys coming in. Um, we're going to be talking about um, updates on Farsight, some updates on uh, Scorn's tools. Um, as well as kind of like the future site of what we're doing here at the community. Um, we're going to be having a name change here real soon. I think we have just about a week left properly, I guess, but we probably should just wrap it up at this point. It has been kind of long dragged out. Um, but yeah, so pretty much let me go you guys here on this. Pull up, uh. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so here was the name. So I showed you guys before um, quite a bit of options, but we kind of slimmed it down to about five. So I appreciate everybody that, that put in some names. You guys had great options and just a plethora of stuff. So definitely appreciate it. Um, your voice and your opinion are welcomed. Um, so we're gonna go jump in to have a clip here. So here's the, the five choices. Um, Recon John came up with Galactic Templar, Butterball came up with the Alliance, Escort BIO, excuse me if I butchered that, uh, Galaxy Crypto Conquerors, uh, Bevins, um, he's from MCP, uh, Starfleet, uh, that's S-T-A-R, that's uh, spaced out. And then Space Bear came out with Excelsior Fleet. Uh, all great names. Um, so pretty much what came down to was actually a neck and neck. Um, I think, well, actually, we've got two more responses. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to close it out right now. Um, so I'm going to close out the options here. we got 11 responses. Close this out. I had to do <clears throat> Um, okay, accepting responses. So here's the five choices, like I mentioned. We did have 11 responses. I think one of them was a duplicate, so that will not be counted for. So there's technically 10. Um, so it looks like we got Galactic Templars. I personally liked Alliance. Um, just, um, but we will see what is. There was two names. I think they both put Galactic. So e even if so, it'd still be four. Um, so I guess uh, it sounds like Galactic Templars is the option. Um, Alliance, you said that, um, or Butterball, you said you want to give away the prize. If, if, but you do win a prize too, so we'll, we'll figure something out with that. Um, so everybody gets a prize. Um, that was selected here. It looks like um, final choice. Starfleet. Yes, yeah, so Starfleet, Excelsior. Excelsior, oh, it's not Excelsior, Galaxy. Okay, so Galactic Conquerors unfortunately didn't make the cut, so um, we will have to exclude you out on the giveaway. But definitely appreciate it. I'm sure we can. Um, so the top four will get prizes. Um, you know, Galactic Templars will get the best prize, of course. <clears throat> and then the other three will get other prizes as well. So I'll contact you guys um, at some point, figure something out, and then we'll figure out with Butterball what you do. Um, cool. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So Galactic Templars seems like it is the choice. Um, let's close this out here. Oh, actually, actually, let me pull something up. So also to bring up, so Farsight on March 10th. So that is pretty close. Um, that is on Thursday. So on Thursday, it's usually, uh, what is it, 12 p.m. UTC or 1 p.m. 
<clears throat> is, is usually the time frame they, they come out with stuff. So uh, if you guys read into this, of course, everyone here, I'm sure you guys have, but anyone that hasn't, um, this will allow for uh, some trading. So uh, buy and sell the marketplace for um, resources, allow for players that don't have specific resources. Of course, you know, with Scorn's toolkit, we'll be, you know, talking about here soon. Definitely helps you show what materials you can, you know, or what resources you need to make specific uh, components and, and be able to utilize what you have. So it's going to be great. I'm not sure about sectors yet. I'm sure there's going to be some type of sector sale uh, fairly soon, I would assume. Um, but this is going to allow for players to get necessary resources for um, now said uh, factories are going to be out. So. Um, we'll see further development of components and um, being able to uh, dis disassemble or uh, dismantle in that sense to build other buildings on your land or on the sector. So allow players to you know not get stuck with uh, the original mining building, but refinery or factory. Um, so yeah, this is a great great way for us to be able to actually start trading, have more P2P action. Um, which has been kind of like, uh, you know, the 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 separation of of the of our site being able to actually like connect with players. Um, we don't we don't have anything going on beyond just you know accumulating resources. So that's been kind of this downfall, I would say, with the community um, not being able to connect. But this will definitely bring a lot more attention to it. Definitely for us to uh, having this name change. So we're going to be going with the the um the branding contest but like the the graphics so i'm going to do some videos on that as well so bring in some people with the graphics for the name change so that way we can have uh, you know some some cool backgrounds and stuff like that so um i'll have that in a video and also make some announcements throughout the week um so yeah that pretty much wraps up what i'm doing i'm pretty much just Wait for this name change, and then I'll, you know, when we have our guild, it's kind of come together. Uh, but I want to bring in Scorn here. I want to talk about what you're doing and where you're at on the tools and stuff. Yes, okay. I got to the right button now, and I can actually speak. Can people hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. A little low. A little low? Yeah, damn. I don't know what it is about this. Uh, anyway, I haven't been able to find a driver that deals with this mic. So, this is going to be quick. Um, let's see. Also, you're seeing a, a view of the... So this is what the tool looks like, basically. I have some code I'm working on uh, to increase the um, this area here will allow you to configure some pricing depending upon you know what actually comes out of your mining re re process you know one one main or two sides or so this is going to start for um, metals I'm going to have one for each group metal uh, metals and oils. So you'll you'll be able to set up your pricing in terms of how do you want to divide the cost of producing one of your um, so you have this output here right and it costs you twenty hopefully you can see my cursor and everything twenty so now how do you want to divide the cost of that twenty amongst your three output pieces right so this here configuration window will allow you to set those percentages based on this cost so then when over here i'll present like a cost per item and this is uh just gonna just show costing information like for if you hit one of these guys here how much is it going to cost well how much is each of one of these costs so that you can actually when you go to the market you know you know how much did it cost you know so somebody's overpricing well then you probably won't want to buy that if he's underpricing then you maybe want to buy it so you can resell it who knows right so that's basic materials. 
um, uh, information. So now also we have here the components. This is a list of all the components in here that you that are listed in the database. And I just clicked on one of them, and these are the materials you need to build it. So now you can just look through this and see whether or not you know you actually have those materials. Well, let's see. You know, I'm going to sort this because it's a long list. Drone. Uh, I want just look at drone stuff. Let's say okay. So we have drone amplifiers. Oh, uh, can we build those? I might be able to build them. Wiring. Um, uh, can I build? No, I don't have this gradient right there, so I won't be able to build that. I don't know about that element. That's kind of a little bit. Those ones that only have one. It's kind of strange. It's probably a large for a large drone. Like these are for small drones, I believe, and they are fully listed. But anything with for the large large items don't seem to be um, have complete data, or it's not really real. So slide down here to a large module. See, it only has like a, a single element. And whereas these guys, the mediums, the smalls for sure always seem to have a fully populated requirement. But these other guys don't. And it seems kind of weird to me, unless you're going to combine a small with a large or something, or, you know couple smalls to make the large and you just need that extra little ingredient i don't know anyway a lot of stuff to figure out um this helps you do it so basically oh yeah loading you, you can load your status um what your planets produce you know what your sectors are and uh what your manufacturing time is so here i have one that's orange so yeah it's going to it's going to end or did it already end Oh, I think I fixed that one already. I have to load my latest data. Anyway, so this shows you when your manufacturing items are going to close. And this is stale data. I didn't load it up uh, right for this demo, so it's probably not correct. I think I already serviced that one. And that's about it. Any questions? It looks awesome, man. <laughs> Amazing. Really cool seeing the costing. So you could maybe, like you said, buy someone if you're if they're selling it for cheap and then resell it for more. I really like that idea. Good way to help control the economy. Well, the idea is the tool lets you see that easily, right? That's the whole thing. But, and, and that, yeah, that's, that's definitely I'm, cool. I'm I'm building it for me, right? <laughs> I, I want to be able to see this shit because, you know, I want an advantage. So so this is why I've done this before with another another game. But You have a way to, like, input the elements that you have, and then it'll tell you what components you can make with that or what components you're close to making? Like, oh, that would my be God. helpful. Oh, my God. Really? Um, yeah, I tried working on that one yesterday, and... Um, there was a bug somewhere, and I couldn't figure it out, so I'm probably going to recode it just so I can... Yeah, I had it almost working. I'm going, okay, you know, I have these all these, these resources that I can mine. What can I build with those resources? That's the key question. So, yeah, that's one of the... Yeah, well, I'm glad somebody's thinking like I am. That's good. We can do anything. Whatever comes up to, up to mind, we can... With the data, we can do anything with the data that's there. It's in it's it's in the tool. So it's just a case of figuring out what you want to present and how you want to present it. So uh, I guess I'll just... I have I have another general question. Um, with the upcoming upgrade at the marketplace and everything, do you know how we're supposed to get our element? Like I'm mining this whole time. That's all all we can do. Um, how do I get, do I need my ship at my planet to be able to transport everything back to the, the, the market that's going to come? You do, yeah, you have to fly your ship to whatever sector is mining, and you like load up your ship, and then you have to take it back to the stations where the marketplace is going to be, and put it oh, in the station okay. storage. And that'll be, that'll get active at some point after this upgrade? Yeah. My ship's sitting on my planet, I can't it. transfer it. I, say that again. I missed the last part. My ship's sitting at my planet, and I can't uh, transfer anything. So you should be able to, like, if you open up your ship storage and open up your sector storage at the same time, and if you click on the resources on the sector, it should ask you if you want to, like, move it over to your ship storage, and then you can fly okay, it. So that should be active now. That's something I should be able to do. Yep. Yeah, I've flown around and, like, picked up 
stuff from sectors and taking it back to refineries and stuff. I think simple drag and drop will do it too. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, as long as you get both storages open, you can drag it across. Or if you like single click it, it'll should default to like open a menu with the total amount. You can just hit enter. So either one's pretty easy. How are you guys feeling about this uh, marketplace? Uh, is that going to help you guys out a lot? I think, like you said, it's nice to have some more peer-to-peer -peer interaction within the game now. That'll be cool to see what things sell for, you know what I mean, how that works. Yeah, I think it'll be good, but I think we're still... I still think they need to list the FAR token, because I think most people don't have any credits left. We've been mining for, like, months and stuff, and it costs money to build mines and and everything so i know some people probably save some credits but i feel like it'll be better once we can access the far token and actually get more credits for stuff i think the marketplace will be better after that true help able to facilitate um more credits outside of just buying crates for credits you yeah because it does seem like there's so much burn like we've talked about before it's mm -hmm. a little bit concerning how much burn there is <laughs> Yeah, yeah, team was like, if you're buying it for credits, you shouldn't do that. They weren't even a big fan of that either, but mm -hmm. um, but it's like, well, what are we supposed to do? Burn all our ships like we did before? Um, yeah, we um, don't really know the value of what those ships could have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first edition ships I burned, so part of the process, but yeah, it'd be nice to get that far token in there and Interesting to see it's the visibility of credits and market value and perception like other outside you know investors and or just eyes having a token sky's the limit you know <laughs> there um any like um like hurdles you guys are having because it's lack of resources or like what you guys want to build or anything well, it doesn't seem like I can build anything. I have, like, some poisonous planet that I'm mining copper and nickel. I'm mining as much as I can of what I can. And then just going to have to go to market and see what can be wheeled and dealed. So, for me, the market is... Opening the market is an enabling for me because I'll be able to get the two resources that I need to build my refinery, right? Once I have a refinery, then it's a case of just pumping out materials, right? Which can be sold or actually, I don't know what about, <clears throat> I don't know when the manufacturing part comes in. Do I have to build a, a manufacturing facility to build um, components? Um, I don't know. Yes, I think that's coming with the next update on the 10th. I think they're introducing the next building, so you should be able to make basic components from the refined stuff, I guess. So we'll also find out what it takes to make those buildings will be interesting because people may have just been mining whatever they can access and so i assume it'll be different materials than what the uh refineries needed so that should open up some more stuff being traded on the market interesting if you need certain refined materials just to make that building as well instead of just raw materials mm -hmm. that's what i saw with the graphic was for the factories they're components you you saw that they need more you need like refined materials not just raw mm -hmm. stuff too Okay. Yeah, you needed like um yeah, like refined wood and like refined sand or whatever this scantium. Okay. Um yeah, there there was various ones and there were some raw ones too, of course, but mm -hmm. trying to incorporate both. Like, in the components list, there's a whole bunch of um components which are just for structures too listed i don't know i don't didn't look i wasn't interested in them yet but they're there yeah they probably have to be manufactured from refined parts i remember they were talking about before for like even mining they're supposed to be specific miners we just got like the in early and got a miner that could mine everything so maybe those certain parts and components that are just for buildings are for you know mining in certain places and stuff like that 
hasn't been any word about when they're going to cap the mining, right? Like, or are we, is it infinite mining right now? It feels like it. I don't know how much of a resource I have. It doesn't tell me. Question. Um, I, I remember documentation I've before said something about you never get capped. It just slows down how much your, your ability to mine out of a certain resource. You never actually run out of it. It just takes longer to mine it. I, I guess we don't get to, somewhere. We, we don't get to see what the uh, maybe it's not is. implemented yet. Got it. I didn't I, that portion, but yeah, that would make sense. Have some type of deterioration, degenerate or something. It seems to be pretty commonplace for the blockchain space. Have some type of like degeneration over time the, the resources become less of accessibility or um app but yeah <clears throat> that's good i mean that's i mean that sucks but that that's good it, it's a little damper on being able to get more resources which is you to have to get more sectors i guess mm -hmm. yeah and then or and or like uh you know f explore explore you know mm -hmm. sector you know, planets and our system I mean, interesting, you know, and like, how does that work, like, individually, or do, can we do it as a group, you know, like, or how that seems individual. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I was curious about the planet exploring, too, because if you, like, poke around the map in the stars that are already open, some of the planets say, like, uh, undiscovered, but some of them say they're, like, they, like, say undiscovered, but it labels it as a dead planet, so I thought the whole point of mm -hmm. discovering was to, like, see if it's dead or not, and, like, roll the dice, but they, like, have undiscovered ones labeled as dead planets, so I'm kind of confused. That would be rough if you spend all the money to discover it and it's dead. That, that would... <laughs> Damn. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be kind of a, a high ticket, you know? They said, like, in the tens of millions for, for like, um, star exploration. Crazy. Yeah. But then you that... get a percentage of every sale. So, I yeah, guess that's, that's how you make your money back. Mm -hmm. And I guess if we did it within the corporation percentage of the sale that you usually get off you could take that off on the purchase price for a member or whatever yeah that's true it would be a discount for us um, just because you know they're already, you're already earning money out of just a thought yeah no that's a good idea yeah I figured anything that we can do like to bring in revenue to the corp would be half spawn um yeah, that'd be cool. And then also like the the marketplaces with the stations, like in different star systems or yeah, star system, um, outside of the home. That'd be you know, interesting for arbitrage, especially with the toolkit. Like that will you know, help get cheaper stuff. I wonder if there's going to be multiple marketplaces, like if each space station has its own marketplace. So that you could have different prices across different star systems. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm under depression. This is going to be oh, like that. Oh, for sure, for sure. That's that's it's got to happen. I mean, you can't just have one star base that everything is sold from. Mm -hmm. So right. you well, can I mean, bet maybe, that there's going to be see them all people who just star bases, but it would have to be shipped. So you'd be like, oh, well, maybe cheaper to buy it there, but right. I have to then ship it. Exactly. So you'll have players actually looking for that and transporting it from place to place just to make that money. Yeah, mm -hmm. just skim off yeah. that top. That'll, that'll be interesting. They, they, actually, they do it. They did it in Eve all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I figured that'd be easy arbitrage for people. You know, they spend a little gas here, make a little bit of money. You know, it, it's a win-win for everyone. Then obviously one of the other goals is to build a space station. Yeah, that's going to be the. I don't know, like, how's that going to yeah. work? <laughs> a lot of components and... Yeah, and I'm sure it's huge. Stuff. It's probably similar to what space exploration costs. Mm, yeah. Or something like it's, that. If it seems guaranteed, though, so that that's... Just... Mm -hmm. oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because that would be the equation to... Because MCP has... um space needle type buildings you know just like really big buildings that kind of like facilitate other people around it so 
I guess that'd be the equation. I don't know. I try to equate with MCP is I know it's a completely different game, but I try to think about what the team introduces from previous concepts and you know what's been working to like bring bring it forward into this game. And just you know, it's completely different of course and and is um but interesting to see like the bigger buildings and bigger, you know, aspects of the game that are like cost a lot more but have like a huge you know impact for like the future iteration of the game so yeah like base station exploration like that's completely different like you can't even do that in pretty much most games like they don't allow you to just like find things um i'm sure it's i don't know if it's like randomized like how is that how is that dictated like is it a randomization or is it kind of Predetermined. I work for exploration. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on that, like just gonna like throwing throwing money around or you like you know shooting fish in a barrel, like. I th I think you're gonna have to use some kind of warp drive to to warp to somewhere where there's no gate. There's because as far as I can see, I mean, how can you explore something unless somebody puts a gate there? I mean, hmm. okay, well, if there's a gate there, then how is it not, if, if there is a gate there, then how is it not explored? I, you know, see, it's kind of... Deep Space Probe. Space Probe. <laughs> Deep Space Probe. You're going to shoot a probe out into the, in, into the dark. Shots in the dark. <laughs> I was hoping for a little more controlled, sitting in my ship, going, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh invoke my hyperdrive, and I'm gonna go to that star over there. Boom, and I end up over there. I get there. There's no fuel to get back, and then I'm stuck forever. Yeah. But you know, I'm there at the new place. <clears throat> Maybe you have to get rescued, and people have to bring you more fuel. Yeah." <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe we'll have like a triple A service oh. or something. <laughs> I'm concerned when they turn the fuel on because you know I got no. my my ship out to my planet now before they did that. <laughs> I feel the same. <laughs> I'm just like I got to do everything before, and I don't know if it's gonna be turned on like on the tenth, you know, or like sometime soon after that, or is it gonna be like okay, we're not quite out of pre-alpha, you know, maybe like alpha or beta by the time. So, yeah. I just, it's a long trip to the space station from next 222. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel it. I have the same thing with, like, TO and, um, was it N NYX, I think? I think, because I have to go, like, next and then, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's so convoluted. You have to jump through, like, three or four gates or something. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite spendy for sure. Um, and then it's like, uh, I think me and Scorn was mentioning this before about like gas, you know, like how are we going to get fuel? You know, like, is it going to be only like accessible like that? Or can we make our own fuel? It'd be great if we could mine a star or something like that. Mm -hmm. Type of reserve or like, yeah, then like another space station. I mean, of course, other space stations will have fuel, but. The you know intermediate option you know <laughs> like maybe you can, can build we... space ga gas stations yeah just the gas the station <laughs> yeah just like a small little like convenience store or something like, well quite quite a space station but you know you can't park yeah, here some simple things a little bit of oxygen a little bit right. of uh, fuel <laughs> yeah just like a small you know maybe the prices might be a little bit more but it's convenient you know like a convenience store um. <laughs> <laughs> fuel might be you know, a little bit more, but it's cheaper than flying all the way to home. You know? yeah, that would be a good idea for something to implement. Yeah. I, I, don't know. I would expect that they not implement fuel until the the universe is sort of populated. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They can't go around taxing the crap out of us while we're actually building it for them because that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the I burn agree. is just so big right now. Oh, my God. Uh, and then it's like, how much fuel, how much is it going to cost, you know? Like, yeah. it's just, I'm burning, like, uh, 
like 2000 I think, or something like that. I don't know. It was quite a bit. I don't... It, I don't it's, know, it's gonna cost money just to go through gates, too. Yeah, and the and gates... The and, as well, to use them. And, and whoever, you know, controls the gates, you know, taxes it. Crypto, I think you're gonna have to gonna have to switch to like a, an Econo vehicle. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I'm gonna have like a Geo Metro or something. <laughs> like, Not like... your biggest big ship all the time, right? <laughs> just just take my like Tesla or my Mini Cooper or something or something, something more Econo. Hey, maybe they will have like you know, you get like electric. solar sails or something. Right? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> A lot of suns, you know, so. Yeah, it'd be well. cool if, like, in case you run out of gas, you have, like, an emergency solar sail that you can apl- deploy. <laughs> Makes nice. you drive slow or whatever, but it gets you around. <laughs> yeah. It'd be fun. Dude. Yeah, this is a lot of, like, the fuel and, yeah, like, <clears throat> like, let's, let's be on factories, you know. Can we upgrade our buildings? Can we? That's before we get into space fights and piracy and your planet getting raided. Oh. Is there going to be space aliens? Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there going to be like some type of like, you know, NPC type characters, you know? Like, it would just... be an interesting oh. way to, for people to get credits or something. Instead of just buying crates, if there was some play to earn way, and that you know, like, you know, planet gets infected or something, and you have to go like fight and save it or something, hmm. that'd be interesting. You know, other players can put bounties to increase the amount of credits they could earn. Okay, okay, enough, enough of the ideas, guys. These they're Ain't too much. They might actually get these and use them. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's good to come up with ideas. I like the speculation. <laughs> I mean, but actually, that is kind of like so with the MCP. That's the Super Nose other game. They they are introducing like uh, incentive um, missions for players. So essentially, if it was a corporation or if individually, they could put up a certain amount of currency to incentivize people to do missions for their buildings. So in this case, it would be you know sectors and or specific buildings we have um that could be an idea too you can just like fly around and figure out what you know little emissions people can do earn some credits um and then yeah as, what, I, as... what i was thinking though was maybe if there's a way because they obviously have some credits held with the team if mm-hmm. there was a way for like the, the the team to award them to certain players because that would allow people who you know have nothing to come in and do these few missions that get awarded some credits from the creators of the game in order to, you know, obviously it'd be very, very tiny, but just for the people to start out Mm -hmm. instead of having all the other players have to burn their own credits to do that. Obviously they could, you could still could do that too. And there'd be better missions and stuff, but just thinking, you know, that'd be because we need to figure out a way to like, you know, get players in that don't have anything, you know, the free to play kind of, Premium mm-hmm. model, you know, um, definitely. Which is is the concept what the other game is doing. So it's like they have like the the intro tutorial to give you like a free you know character, <clears throat> and then you know you're incentivized to either rent out a building and or buy another character because you need two people to to run you know maximum you know for a level one building, so most basic building. So having know i guess the basic ship we get that and but then you can't really i mean i guess you can fly around but you don't have any gas so like yeah i guess a little bit of credits for gas fuel and stuff. initial players are gonna are gonna need to become truckers mm. yeah just freighting things from back and forth and then that's at first that's just gonna be survival for gas money i guess i don't i don't know it all depends on how much gas is going to end up being, and if you can make it yourself. If we could build a gas station out in the middle and then charge whatever the hell we wanted for it, right, but that's more ideas. Never mind. <laughs> no, that's great. All right, Warren, build that too. Build that. <laughs> there is going to be the player mining, right? Like as in ship mining. 
on yeah, asteroids. asteroids or something. Right? So that part right, right. there is um, it, like if you don't leave the system, it don't cost you any gas. You can fly to an asteroid field if you know what it is, sit there and mine and come back. I don't know whether it costs you fuel to do the mining, but anyway, I don't expect anybody to have to fly to another system in the beginning to do that. Otherwise, basically, there, you, you, it won't start, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be some hurdles. Definitely, we're in this pre alpha, it's like so far away from full release, it seems like. Um, you know where the next stages are if it's gonna be being able to access the sector, like in the sector. Because in like Moon Cryptopolis, the, the pre precursor to this game, you're able to access the the sectors were actually portions of the moon and then in that sector you can access a certain area which is kind of what we have now if you see the pictures individually that's actually the same concept of moon cryptopolis it's actually almost the same pictures <laughs> i think they use the same graphics pretty much um buildings too um i don't see any other building that has been significantly different um the previous buildings were attached to each other they had like kind of like an like a tunnel, you know, like be able to go through the space. Like that was the space station, like that you create, pretty much. Um, eventually. Um, but um, yeah, that's like the the question is like, do we have specific characters that go in the spaceship? Do we have like in you know like on the ground? Like can we like go you know like like a, a Land Rover type thing, you know? Sector to sector trading. Like if one sector has uh, has a mining facility, another one has a manufacturing plant, the other another one has a refinery plant. Like a way to travel between sectors with resources. That would yeah. be uh, that would be a next level. For reals, yeah. Because we can also then introduce the characters. That's kind of what I want. Is you know, because I'm part of the other game too. Um, but using those characters as like the pilots. You know, or the you know, in in the on ground characters with yeah, with the factories and the buildings and exchanging, um, it just bring more value to its complete ecosystem and giving it more of like that individual feel instead of just like flying with a ship and that's your character, um, which is great for now. But you know, what what if a player wants to come in and doesn't have anything? You know, it's like you give him a ship. But, you know, are they just working for gas? <laughs> That's hard play. But That's the beauty of our, our uh, corp, you know, able to offer people stuff. Great. Um, uh, it's, it's the Alliance, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, we are the Ga Galactic Templars. That is the name that was chosen. Oh my God! My brain just somehow got attached to it, to that previous conversation. Yes, you're right, <clears throat> Templars. Yes, I know. I I wanted the lions. I really did. But it was off by one. To be, you know, a tie. But yeah, I mean, I gotta be fair. I can't just. Yeah, the lions was. It was what I wanted personally. <clears throat> it just seems very subtle or not subtle but like very interconnecting it's add that to it. the alliance uh galactic did templars you, did you vote did. did i vote yeah did you vote <laughs> should i vote now no no i did vote i did vote okay. i believe i i think i went for Okay, no, no, just checking because then you know, you know there could be a, a tipping vote there. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna chime in like it is what it is if it's locked in, but I didn't even care if mine won. I did just like the alliance because it's broad. I feel like Templars may uh, scare some people away from participating just because it's like religious connotation and like connection to things like the Crusades and stuff. But you know, if it won the vote, that's fine. I just 
I just wanted to something like broad in general that wouldn't potentially you know scare anybody away. But it is what it is. You can make it work. I mean, Galactic Templars is you can you can spin it. I mean, we could collude and choose the alliance. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, I agree it could be spun. I just think the fact that you have to think about even spinning it isn't isn't ideal. But I don't want to cheat anybody who may propose the name out of it either, so we could, like, talk to them and see what's up to you. I like the Excelsior fleet myself. For the nerd word. Yeah, that is pretty nice for nerd word. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't mind that one either, as long as it was, like, I don't know, something general. Like, Starfleet was fine. I don't know, whatever. But I definitely don't want to cheat anybody out of a fair vote. I will then connect with the Galactic Templar or Recon John. He, no, he he can win he can win the main prize, but maybe we can go with them. I personally like the Alliance. Just, uh, but yeah, of course. I will talk to Recon John and we'll see. The Alliance. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if there's any other speculation I'll talk about. <laughs> yeah, I gotta run. In fact, uh, good talking to you folks. For sure. For sure. Good to have you out. Nice day. Butterball will combine our Sakura keys together. <laughs> <laughs> I opened one more crate and tried to get another and had no luck. <laughs> oh, you bought another one? Oh, my God. <laughs> it was mostly because I needed credits. I like spent all of the mining, and I was like, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm at least going to take a shot at this key. <laughs> yeah. floating. yeah, I wonder as those crates, it's still so hard to tell how many there are on open, like going through open seas. Is just like super unclear. I tried even like opening all the links and seeing which ones got sent to the null address, and it, it just like does not add up right. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Man, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna like those. Pri- I don't even know what the prices are. I'm sure, they're way half the price of paid for for everything. <clears throat> yeah. That's the beauty of NFTs. They tend to hold price. Um, I think we're good on that. Definitely worth more than what I paid for. It. Yeah, I would imagine. And you just need a more active market. Yeah. Hopefully we get to utilize them at some point. But of course, you know, there's only 17. So definitely in the back burner for that. Um, but of course, we'll benefit quite a bit. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it does one day when they decide to let us know. Sure. Um, parting words from anybody or anything? I'm good. <clears throat> so, what I like to do at the end here is to do some you know, words of wisdom. Maybe we can add some wisdom for everybody. Okay, I got words of wisdom. Remember that you work to live. You do not live to work. Ooh, I like that one. I don't have my own words of wisdom, but I like that one. For that score. Easy to follow and definitely very resonating. Um, Arkill, you got anything to add? Um, words of wisdom, I don't know. <laughs> Bruce, fairly, fairly new segment I've been adding to all my videos just to give people connecting outside of crypto humanize us it's it's easier when you're old you're not that old i've seen you on video 
<laughs> Appreciate you being here. Famous butter ball and you. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is uh, words of wisdom. So uh, you know, perspective is key, and um, always take time for yourself and others. And um, uh, be at service as much as you can. Um, don't take away from yourself to do so. Um, your cup is full. Share, share with others. Uh, that's energy, time. You know, people have different love languages. So yeah, and try to do good by others. You know, fix relationships you know, if you can. Have the space. Give people the space themselves not always as keen uh -uh. and have the time to decompartmentalize is what I do for myself um kind of bettering yourself you know challenging yourself don't plateau you know you become easy um it, you get comfortable which is is fine but then if you don't challenge yourself, it's kind of deteriorating. I feel like self for Um so yeah, just uh perspective's key and you know, um time for others. So yeah, appreciate everybody here. Uh check out uh Scorn's toolkit will be available to the public at some point. Or some Fine tuning, um, and uh, March tenth. So we're gonna be trading soon, and okay. take care. See you guys. Yeah, later. <laughs>